testimonies to tell, Father, because you have been so good to us. And Lord, you know, the outside world can, you know, they wonder why when everything else is breaking apart, when everything is falling apart, that we can sing songs and have a smile on our face, Father, because they don't know that nothing else matters to us more than what you've done for us, Lord Jesus. Father, everyone has a testimony of where they come from, whether they come from the loss of the house, Father, or they just come from not knowing you at all, Lord Jesus. Everyone has a testimony, and that testimony is that we know you, Lord. So, Father, may you just be in the midst of every single home that is that is on, on Zoom, and anyone else that's going to watch this service, Father, may they re realize and know that that you are real, Father. Lord, may you just be, get the, the minister ready, Father, may you push it to the side, and may you just have your, your way tonight, Lord Jesus, for our ways get us to only so far, Father. Our ways get us to get us in trouble, Lord Jesus. But Father, your ways are endless. Your ways are perfect, Father. Your ways are higher than our ways, Lord. So we just want to sing these songs and really mean it, Father, because we're grateful tonight. We're always grateful, Father. And Lord, we just want to praise your name. All, all the testimonies that's going to be said tonight, Lord Jesus. It's all just to give you glory, Father. For we are nothing. Father, all we got to do is to get less so that you become more, Lord Jesus. For you to be shown in this world, not our own light, but your light, Jesus. So we thank you once again. Be in the midst of every single house, Lord. In your mighty name we pray. Amen. Oh, this is my story. Hallelujah. again. Uh, it's such a great opportunity we have. We're here at Sister Toto's house. Uh, it's great just to uh, be with other believers, be with more believers. Um, and just sing songs and praises tonight. We've got Brother Freddy here. We've got uh, Billy Allen family as well. We've got a little uh, together, Jesse over here as well. And we're just rejoicing. We're just singing songs. We're not here to put on anything. 
for just uh, taking a look for what he's done, just for us today, you know, whatever we've done and um, gone through from Sunday. I'm just going to sing uh, To God Be the Glory. <laughs> to God be the glory. Yeah. 
this week um, and I've just been singing songs that, that just mean that mean something to me you know just moments in my life where they mean something to me and uh, this morning I was talking about um, uh, the song was too much <laughs> there's a river of life now I want to get back to that time when we uh, the boys and I went to Mission Bay we sang uh, the, there's a river of life over there and uh, one of the teachers came up to me. He's like, "Sir, I want to come and visit your church." He goes to, I think, Life Church out in, in uh, Manukau. He's like, "Sir, I really want to come." He's a South African guy. Uh, his name's uh, Donald Present. He's like, "I really want to come visit your church." I said, "Oh, yeah, that's cool." And um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But you know, today I was just uh, sharing about how uh, a light cannot be hidden. You know, on a hill, you don't hide a, You don't put a a light candle. Candle light underneath a bushel, the Bible says in um, Matthew 5. You put on a candlestick so that everyone can see. And so let's just, yeah, let's just sing. Um, there's a river of life. There's a river of life flowing out from me. Thank you. 
passing away left, right, and center. And so for you just to be alive today, uh, be functioning to get yourself yourself on, on Zoom tonight, that's something to praise Him about. Amen. we got able bodies, and we've got brains that can think. Uh, yeah, we're just alive. We're just alive. Amen. We've got each other as well. We've got a great fellowship, and we have to serve a great God. Amen. In moments I be I sing out a song. I sing out a love song to Jesus. In moments I meet, I Sing it out, I love you. Oh, sing. 
Krista to get himself ready. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Lift up your hands now. You are awesome in this place, ever God bless you this evening. And you can hear me all good? Sorry, we have to do that just to make sure that everyone can hear. <clears throat> and then God richly bless you. I really enjoyed um, this time of, of singing and praise um, and worship. As I was, um, as we were singing here tonight, just entering in. Um, I realized how important it is um, for us as individuals to, 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 to know and to understand the importance of, of worship and of praise and the importance of creating the right atmosphere. Because I, I believe that, you know, we, God created us. We, we are uh, many, we are creators. And he's allowed us the ability to create an atmosphere. And uh, the atmosphere is not only just in church where we all together and can encourage each other on, you know, we're all together standing next to each other. But I believe, you know, where you and I are in our individual homes, um, I believe that is really the test to see whether we really are able to enter in, whether we are really are able to create that atmosphere. And I really... Uh, enjoyed and I really appreciate it. The singing tonight, Brother Zion, uh, God richly bless you. 
Amen. He is awesome. No, you are awesome in this place, Almighty God. And that is so true. May God bless you. I've just got two scriptures I'd like to read. Um, and then we'll just take it from there. If you have your Bibles and if you want to stand with me. And Brother Branham always talks about the fact that when we, um, you know, he, he refers to uh, showing respects unto God. And he says when we sing the national anthem, we stand to our feet. So he says, you know, we, uh, we're reading the word of God. Uh, you know, we, we show those respects. So if you have the, your Bibles, 2 Corinthians chapter 10. I'll just read a, a few verses there. And then um, you can hold um, uh, 2 Samuel 5, I think. Um, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, a very well-known scripture. Uh, verse, verse, chapter, verse 3, it says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. And then if we could go to 2 Samuel, 2 Samuel um, uh, chapter 5, and I'll just read two verses there, 2 Samuel chapter 5, I'll read verse 6 and verse 7, it talks about David and his men, his mighty men of valor. Uh, verse 6, uh, second, second Samuel chapter 5, verse 6, it says, And the king, being David and his men, went to Jerusalem unto the Jebusites, the inhabitants of the land, which spake unto David, saying, Except thou take away the blind and the lame, Thou shalt not come in hither, thinking that David cannot come in hither. Verse 7 says, Nevertheless, David took the stronghold of Zion. I'll read that verse 7 again, the first part. It says, Nevertheless, David took the stronghold of Zion. The same is the city of David. Let us pray. Loving Father, we are thankful again this evening and we are grateful to be found in your presence, my God. We just uh, sang the songs of worship, songs of praise. Lord God, which is songs that we sing from the depths of our hearts. And Lord God, we just want to say thank you for that. We realize the importance of creating the atmosphere, Lord. It's in certain atmospheres, that certain things happen. And my God, we want to be in an atmosphere where the impossible seems is possible. And my God, that, oh Lord God, I believe is the atmosphere that we create, the atmosphere that we love and we walk under as Christians. So we just want to commit this gathering into your hands this evening. And we pray, Heavenly Father, that you lead the, the meeting tonight. And I might have a thought and an idea and my God or, or, or sort of a, a way I think the meeting will go. But Father, it's all in your hands. You lead and I want to follow, Father, each one of us in your in divine presence tonight, Father. We want to follow your leadership. Even right now, my God, we want to bring uh, Pastor Donnie Reagan before you. My God, we prayed for Brother David Siler and the believers on Sunday. We heard today, my God, that Brother Donnie Reagan, my God, a soldier, my God of the cross, uh, has been struck with this COVID-19. Father, our prayer this evening is that the virtues of healing, my God, your virtues of healing would go and flow through Brother Donnie right now, Father, as many others are praying for him. My God, he's one of those, uh, my God, generals of the faith, uh, my God, that is smashing down uh, the strongholds of the enemy. And the enemy can use, want to use this opportunity to silence Brother Donnie, but I pray and we, as a, as a church father, I want to pray for him. 
my God, that you do a mighty work, uh, my God, in Brother Donnie, and not only Brother Donnie, there are so many others out there, Lord God, uh, that that suffering, Father, from COVID-19, uh, our prayers that you step on the scene, even my own brother-in-law, my father, thank you for what you're doing, and oh God, how you just uh, strengthening him, Lord God, thank you for healing Glenn, and Lord God, there are so many others, uh, our prayer, oh God, that you just uh, step on the scene, and we want to say thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you, amen. You may be seated tonight in the presence of Almighty God. Um, uh, it's uh, always so wonderful and so good um, to be gathered together like this. Um, uh, you know that the Lord Jesus Christ, He is extremely important to us. And uh, I believe we gather uh, together to, uh, in, in times like this because we need God. Mm. Um, and you're going to see me looking this way or this way. It's because I've got you mirrored on my screen here. But um, uh, so if you see I'm looking away, I'm not looking away from you. I'm just watching the screen tonight. Amen. So um, I, I, I read, I just read a scripture to us. I read a scripture tonight. And you know what? That, um, that scripture, um, um, at least the, 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 word, the wording that said, um, nevertheless, David took the stronghold. Amazingly, I first heard those words, um, I think it was either 2016 or 2017. And uh, I heard the words, and it always just stuck with me. Nevertheless, David took the stronghold. And I've always wanted to minister on, nevertheless, David took the stronghold. But I just could never get myself to minister on it whenever I get asked to minister I I want to but then I just don't I just don't feel the, the inspiration to take that so my wife actually yesterday uh, as I was you know you know how it is when you're gonna minister you're so stressed out and it sometimes shows on your face so my wife asked me last night she says you know how, how do you how do you know that you know what 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 you're going to speak you know is is of God and then, because my wife has access to my phone, um, what, what, what I normally do on my phone is, um, uh, as inspiration hits, because sometimes you think, you, you know, inspiration hits and you forget things. So what I decided to do was, inspiration hits, I'm going to just put, like, words on my phone. So my wife knows this, because she knows that this relates to, you know, as the Lord's dealing with me, and if I get asked to speak, you know, uh, you know, so, so she knew, so she knew that I had put the titles, and forgive me, I'm just going to just read a few things here, that, that she knew that I would put some titles in my, in my, um, on my phone here, and uh, titles like respects, um, titles like know him better than you know him, um, titles like caught in between, um, 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 experimental experiences. Don't be intimidated by the spirit plaguing your mind. You know, so she knew about all these little titles that I had. So she thought, you know, Taz is going to maybe speak onto one, on one of these titles. But she asked me the question, you know, you know, how do you know? And I just told her, I said, you know what? I, the, I'm just the kind of person I, I do as the Lord just leads me. And uh, for the past couple of days, um, I've just been, it's like the Lord is, it's like, it's like it's, the Lord is like pushing something inside of me that needs to come out. And uh, what was being pushed inside of me, I believe, um, and the Lord just sort of he gave it to me and then he just started adding, which was, nevertheless, David took the stronghold. Amen. And uh, tonight, if the Lord will allow me, I might, I might just want to touch a bit on that this evening because especially as we're leading up this week, to um, Youth Without Borders, mm. part two. Mm. Um, Saturday morning, Saturday night, Sunday morning, Sunday night. And uh, so the Lord just laid this on my heart. And as whatever's going to happen this evening and whatever's going to be said, um, the, the Lord just laid this on my heart in a preparation yes. for the weekend. Amen. Because it is so important that we have got to be um, ready for anything. Yeah. We need to, what the Bible says, 
is you get what you expect. So we need to be under expectation. And we need to know the tricks of the enemy. We need to be aware of things around us. We need to be aware of the spiritual world. So I just got a quote here by the Branham in Speak to the Rock. But the Branham says, every time when you start to make a march for God, yes. look out. Yes. You're headed for trouble. We are marching towards this weekend. Yeah. Now, this weekend is something that's been set aside. We're marching towards that weekend. But the Branham says, look out. He says the devil's going to lay right along the path there to get every foot in he can get in. But yes. yes. well, the Bible says he will trip you, upset you, do everything mean. He's a devil. Then the Bible says, oh, I just love to pour the scripture on him. Don't you? Yes, sir. Say it's written in the word of the Lord. That's right. God said so. But the brother says, the devil hates me. Hey. And he says, and I know he hates you too. Yes. Hey. The devil hates you. Yeah. The devil doesn't like you. Yeah. Hey. He hates you too. And he's my enemy. Uh, my, yes. But as long as God's my friend, I have no fear of him. I just drive him right on back. Take the word of God and move him right on back out of his place. Yes. The devil hasn't got one legal right at all. Nowhere. He's just a devil yes. and a password. That's all. Not sure what Brother Brandon means by saying the devil's a password. But Brother Brandon says he's a password. Um, he's got no legal right to any man that will accept the promise of Jesus Christ. Amen. He's whipped. Yeah. Amen. Yes, sir. He's whipped in sickness. Mm. So if you're feeling sick tonight, yes. I want you to know and I want you to receive the fact that the devil is whipped in sickness. Amen. Amen. He's whipped in disappointments. Mm. He's whipped in everything. Yeah. He's whipped in death. Mm. That's all he is, a big shadow. Hey. You know how he at said night, you see little shadows and you get scared, but the shadow can do nothing to you. Oh, yeah. He's a big old shadow. Yeah. Yeah. And now at the same time, Brother Branham also says in another message, expectations. He says, and we realize that we are fighting a strong enemy. Yes, yes. Lord. He is a strong enemy. Yes. But it's not a strong enemy that you must fear. Yeah. Amen. Because as long as you've got God with you, Amen. God living inside of you, Amen. you've got nothing to fear. And our warfare, he says, is not carnal, but is strong, bringing down the strongholds Amen. of the enemy. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Now the Bible says, nevertheless, David took the stronghold. Amen. Now if you go and read 2 Samuel uh, 5, sorry, 3, uh, three 5, 2 Samuel 5, I'm better without my glasses, actually. If you read 2 Samuel 5, you actually discover that David, um, he, he approached um, the city of Jerusalem that was inhabited by the Jebusites. Right. And uh, when David came near, the Bible actually says, it says that they spoke to David and told him, except thou take away the blind and the lame, thou shalt not come in hither. Hey. And then the Bible says, thinking, they, think, they were thinking, 
that David cannot come in hither. Now, if you take that word thinking and you, and you take it back to its Hebrew lexicon, the, the meaning behind it, it gives quite a few meanings. But one of the meanings was that it means to boast, to act proudly. So these were Jebusites that was in a stronghold and they were proud of their stronghold. So they were boasting and telling David certain things and saying you will not come in. However, now a stronghold is a place that has been fortified. It's a place that is protected against an attack. So these people felt that they were protected, they were fortified, this was a stronghold, no enemy can come in. And they probably, according to the scriptures here, boastfully told David, you can't come in. Be strong. But you know what? David was a man of God. And the Bible says, and I like that word, nevertheless. The word nevertheless, if you break it down, it means despite what has just been said Uh or referred to Uh or in spite of what I see. So, in spite of the challenges I'm facing, in spite of the difficulties, in spite of the problems, in spite of the obstacles or the things that's trying to stop me or to slow me down, that is what nevertheless means. But the Bible says, David, nevertheless, David took the stronghold of Zion. And what that means is when it says David took the stronghold of Zion, he captured it. He seized it. He overcame. He broke through. And they thought uh, that they were not able. They were all powerful with their stronghold. David, nevertheless, despite the obstacles, despite the things that, 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 that probably stared at David in the face, Despite the high halls, despite the mountains, despite everything that was telling David that you will not be able to break through the stronghold. Nevertheless, David took the stronghold of Zion. And I want to I want to drive that home to you today as you're sitting in your home you can have your own nevertheless experience whatever you think you're facing you can say nevertheless i overcame nevertheless I am more than an overcomer. Amen. Nevertheless, I can walk across uh, the situations, uh, the trials, uh, the problems. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Nevertheless. Yes. You see, David Glory. knew who he was. Yes. David He was elected. David was chosen. David was anointed. So David knew his position. David knew who he was. Hallelujah. And because David was elected, he was chosen, he was called, he was anointed, he just did what he did. And I look at you this evening, I look at my family, Brother David's with me tonight. 
The word of God tells me and you that you are that elect lady. You are the elect of God. When, when the song says, when others seen a shepherd boy, yes. God seen a king. Yes. Amen. When others might look at you, Sister Melly, and see just Sister Melly, yes. yes. God sees a daughter of God, yes. an elected yes. daughter of God. Oh, amen. Hallelujah. David was called, you are called. Amen, amen. David was anointed. You are anointed. Amen. And like I said many times before, anointing, it's not just about jumping up and shouting and screaming and running around. That's good, but that's just a bunch of emotion. But the Brennan tells us the anointing is supreme power in control. Yes. So as much as David was elected and appointed and anointed and called, he was able to take the stronghold. Yes. So if David called, elected, appointed to take the stronghold, what about you? Amen. And what about me? Amen. He's called you, Manano. I appreciate the Sunday, but I know. I really appreciated it. But the Anu came and he said this week was a tough week. But it was a week at the end that was victorious. Amen. Because he came that Sunday into the meeting. And it wasn't just words. Yes. That Brother Anno spoke, yes. as powerful as words are, mm. but Brother Anno mm. demonstrated it Amen. so much mm. that that spirit of victory mm. flowed from Brother Anno mm. yeah. and it reached out to us in the in the seats. Amen. That Amen. some sisters did a victory dance. Yes. Around the church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. Nevertheless, David took the stronghold. Yes. yes. I wrote down here, Brother David. Nevertheless, hey. as Jeffries yeah. took the stronghold. Yes. Amen. Whatever the stronghold was or is, nevertheless, regardless of circumstances, regardless of how that mountain looks, regardless of how that river which was overflowing its banks and the children of Israel had to cross it, God allowed them to stay on the side of the bank for a couple of days so that they could see the power of that river. But nevertheless, even though that river was overflowing its banks, they proved that they trust in God. They were able to overcome that raging river. Amen. So I say tonight, nevertheless, yes. Tazwell Jeffries, put himself in there. Aye. I took the stronghold. Yes. I'm not saying I'm still going to take it. No, no. I've taken the stronghold. Yes. I'm like David with that sling. Aye. He prophesies yeah. his outcome. Mm. He, told, he told Goliath, hey, mm. I'm going to cut your head off. Yeah. 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 So nevertheless, has Jeffries 
that Satan was stronghold, and I know the enemy is going to come after me, I'm not afraid because I've got Almighty God not around me, but loving inside of me. You see, you and I, as we sit here, Jude and Joel and Isaiah, you've been called, Sister Rebecca, you've been called to defeat all hell. You see, as the bride of Jesus Christ, you will not be defeated. The pride of Jesus Christ, who I believe I am preaching to right now. Amen. You will not fail. You have been chosen. You, as I'm looking at you, I want you to know and I want you to receive it. You have been chosen to defeat every demon whether it's a demon of doubt whether it's a demon of depression whether it's a demon of whatever it is hey. you brother Tinashe, you've been chosen hey. Glory. Amen. I love the message I, 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 I feel for people that walks away this truth. I, I, I genuinely, I feel for them. This message, right. Brother Branham says, man, uh, statue of a perfect man, my favorite quote. Yeah. Everyone knows it. Uh, but Brother Branham says, I'm not here to build organization. Oh, yes, he says, I'm here to build up individuals. Yeah. And as I look across the, 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 the Zoom, the Zoom platform here, I see individuals Amen. that God is building up. Amen. Not just building you up for nothing, Amen. but building you up so that you can become a powerhouse. Amen. He wants you and me to come to realization of who we are. He wants you, and every time the ministry comes forth, every time you pick up the Bible, every time you listen to a tape, every time you read a spoken word, God is wanting you to know that you are not some downtrodden something, but that you are sons and daughters of the Most High God. And more than just sons and daughters, you are sons and daughters with an authority, with power. Amen. 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 I want you to remember that. I know it. Especially as we're going into this weekend. You see, this weekend, it's not just about Brother John coming and preaching the word of God. And we all sit and we do our stuff and we, 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 we spotlight and we say amen and we all do all those sort of things. It's not only by the John mm. that the Lord is going to use this week. Yeah. Yeah. It's you and me as you yeah. sitting here. Amen. It's, it's your time yeah. that you are setting aside now. Yeah. Amen. It's, it's your consecration. That you're sitting aside leading up to the weekend. Amen. It's, it's, it's your fasting and your praying. Amen. It's your interceding. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, in life, things don't always go the way. That we'd like to go. Yes. And there are many people out there right now. Where life. Is just giving them hard knocks. Especially in this season. This time.
time of the pandemic and everything is just going crazy. Things are not always going our way. Life has got its challenges. I was reading about David and uh, I think Brother Ron Spencer preached a sermon titled Take It Back. And he refers to David. I think at that time David was with the Philistines but they didn't want him to fight with them. So they sent him away. And when David went back home to wherever he was staying, he found that his family and all the other family members of his men had been captured by another enemy. The Bible says in 1 Samuel 30 verse 6, it says, and David was greatly distressed. For the people spoke of stoning him because the soul of all the people was grieved. Every man for his sons and for his daughters. So they had come back and they had seen the situation. The camp had been destroyed. The people, the loved ones have been taken. And David, the Bible says, was distressed. Life has its challenges. Things don't always go the way we want them to go. But David, being a man of God, and you know what, believers? Amen. I love the scriptures. I love the word of God. Hey. It helps me. It teaches me. In distress, the Bible says, but David encouraged himself Amen. in the Lord his God. Amen. Things were not going too good for David at that time. But David knew where his strength came from. Amen. And David encouraged himself in the Lord his God. Amen. And before I go on, I want to encourage you tonight. Things might not be going the way you would like them to go. Amen. Encourage yourself in the Lord. Amen. The Bible says, I think in the book of Ephesians, sing psalms. Amen. Create an atmosphere. Amen. I testified last week about a, 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 a feeling of depression that came over me on Monday. Two, well, two Mondays ago. And I had to defy it. Hey. Until that spirit had to leave me. Amen. Hallelujah. David encouraged himself. Yeah. In the Lord is God. And then. David went to the Lord and said. Lord must I, mustn't I, what must I do? And then the Lord told David. David you go and pursue. Yes. And go get back what is yours. Amen. Amen. And because David heard from God, Amen. That's right. he pursued. Amen. And he overcame. Hallelujah. Before I close, I had a strange dream a couple of days ago. And uh, I, I'm not sure why I dreamt this dream. Not sure, maybe the Lord was just trying to put me in a situation because the, the feeling that I had in that dream, I, I can't shake it. But I dreamt that me and somebody else, we were fighting a relentless enemy. And as we were fighting, this enemy managed to overcome both of us. And I remember I still see myself in the dream falling down as the enemy overcame me. And then, strangely enough, 
in my dream. My dream seemed to force forward to another, a, a continuation of the dream, but just fast forward over a period of time. And in that fast forward period of time, this enemy had had me and somebody locked up with chains in a filthy, disgusting place. But as the, 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 that part of the dream just went so fast until it came to a point where somebody, someone very close, a friend of mine, I don't know who, what, but this person had come and had broken down the prison that I was in and had come and saved me and the friend. But what I remember so clearly in this dream was as I was coming out of the prison and, and I was walking down the stairs and this friend was standing there kind of bashful and I remember going to this friend and I had such a feeling of gratitude. And I went to this friend. And the words I uttered, I, I, I still, I, the, the Lord, I don't know why the Lord gave me this dream. But the words I uttered to him was, thank you for not giving up on me. Wow. Hey. Wow. I, I said, I, I looked at him. I said, thank you. Thank you for being persistent. Thank you for not stopping to look for me. Thank you for finding a way to find me. And I woke up from that dream. And I'm not sure why the Lord gave me that dream, but I, I believe one of the reasons that I was thinking about this is the Lord wanted me to experience what it feels like to be on the other side of the fence in a, a valley of depression or a whatever and to know that there is someone out there that's praying for me. Amen. That there is someone out there that will not give up on me. Because I remember as I came, but the Tinashe, as I came out of that prison and I walked down, my the gratitude that I had. Thank you. Thank you. So I, I wanted to mention that dream tonight. Because I want you, especially as we're leading to this weekend, I want you to walk around. Well, that thought of nevertheless, hey. David took the stronghold of Zion. The Hebrew boys, when they came to the edge of the fiery furnace, we will go in there nevertheless because our God is more than able. Shagor jumped into the fray with a with a ox goat. He seen all those 600 or whatever Philistines. He said, nevertheless, hey. I will destroy what my ox goat. You might say right now, my situation don't look too great. My children are not where they should be. Nevertheless, Amen. regardless of what you see, you claim them. Amen. The Bible says, be therefore perfect, Brother Matt. The Bible tells us that you'll be adopted, you'll be perfected. Our bodies will be changed. And sometimes we look at ourselves and, and we look at situations and we say, how can that be? Hey, hey, hey. 
I want you to know and I want you to walk around this week and say, nevertheless, I don't care what I see. I will take that stronghold. But you see what you and I, we also need to do. Because you see, we, we are sons and daughters of God. We are victorious. But God wants us to live a holy life. He wants us to live a consecrated life. And as you live that life, And like I preached a couple of weeks ago, as you make the wrongs right. Remember I spoke about Aiken and AI and they had to make the wrong right so that they could move on in victory. As long as you, I encourage you. We shouldn't really just be doing it just because of this coming weekend. It should be a daily, every day of prayer. But because we've got this big event coming up, I, I want to encourage you. Set time aside. Somebody on that gallery view, we're going to see over this weekend, behind that face, there might be a need, there might be a stronghold. Yes. That that person doesn't know or can't, is unable to break. Amen. You and I, me and you, mm. we have a part to play this weekend. Amen. Not only the preacher, no. but the John is going to be the vessel that God is going to use. You and I, we've got a very critical and a very important part to play in all of this. Amen. We are going to pull down strongholds. Amen. 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 Sister Nia, you have been called to pull down strongholds. God wants us to draw closer to him. My children, my family, Brother David, God wants us to draw into a relationship with him. Amen. He wants us to pray more. Amen. He wants us to seek his face more. I'm going to close with this. I'm going, to, I'm going to actually just quote this. Don't be intimidated. The enemy is going to want to intimidate you. Don't allow him to intimidate you. And if you know the Lord, say, Lord, I want to know you more than what I know you now. I want to go deeper. You know, if all of us, just, I don't know how many connections we have here tonight. If all of us individually can have that same mindset, I have got a part to play. And all of us dedicate ourselves, set ourselves aside. Imagine what God is going to do. Because you know what my attitude is? Not only those people that's on the Zoom and go, I want God to touch you. I've got families. I've got friends. I've got loved ones. 
that I'm praying for. I've got brothers, blood brothers. I've got a sister. I've got in-laws that I am praying for. I don't know who you've got. But you and I, as sons and daughters of God, we can shake all of hell. Yeah, right. I'll close up with this quote and I'll pray. But Branham says that it is that sanctified, consecrated life that is the thunder so you and I, we've got a, there's, there's a, how can I put it, there's a major war coming. So get yourself in battle array. Get yourself ready. Get yourself ready. Get to know and, and get used to your weapon. Be ready for battle. Amen. Be ready to fight. Amen. And know that I'm standing next to you. Amen. Brother David's standing behind your back like this. Amen. We're standing back to back. Amen. Be ready. Amen. And you've got to do your part. I've got to do my part. Yes. Brother John's doing his part. His helpers out there in Canada and the U.S. is doing their parts. Yeah. As we're all doing our parts. Amen. Amen. My God. Amen. We're going to come out of that weekend saying, <laughs> Nevertheless, yes. Amen. Amen. That's right. Amen. I've seen yeah. how my God uh, took the strongholds uh, that was on the Zoom sessions. And broke them down. Amen. And people were set free. Hallelujah. Let's just pray tonight. Amen. Oh Jesus. I am grateful tonight. Amen. To know that I am a Christian. To know that I serve a God that is real. And like I said earlier. Father you're not a God that's just out there floating around on the clouds. But you are God that lives with intangible. Amen. That when Taz gets into the car Amen. and he takes Brother David home later, it is God with intangible taking Brother David home. Yes. Grateful for that reality. Thank you, Lord. Lord, it's because of this message of grace Amen. that we know these things. So we appreciate the message. We appreciate your word. And I pray tonight, Lord, maybe a lot of things were said. And uh, I trust, Lord, the people would have received it. Maybe think Brother Brandon talks about a, um, a court case one time um, where somebody was um, caught for a robbery ended up in prison and was going to be hanged and how the, the president wrote out a pardon to set that prisoner free <coughs> but that prisoner was still hung the next day because the prisoner did not receive the pardon that the president gave him he rejected the pardon as a result, he lost his life. Our Lord, tonight you have come with your word. And you've spoken life into us, into me, Lord. And I stand here tonight and I receive your word. I receive your pardon. I receive the fact that you tell me I'm an overcomer, Lord. When I walk down the street, I will know. I'm an overcomer. And I'll walk with the attitude of nevertheless, David took the strongholds. 
Nevertheless, Taz took the stronghold. And when we come on the other side of the weekend, Lord, and we look back, we'll say, nevertheless, we've seen how strongholds were taken. So I pray tonight, each one of us, help us, Lord, as we just gear ourselves up for this weekend. Everyone is playing a part. Even though, God, if they're not touching Zoom or not doing admin work, if they're just sitting and worshiping, being part of the meeting, every single one of us has got a major part to play. Help us to recognize that is our prayer. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. And amen. God bless you. Amen. And I'll hand over the cross. God bless you, church. Brother Stazel, God bless you richly. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? God bless you, my precious brother Taz, for the word of God tonight. It was just so timely. And you know that scripture, you know how that David overcame that city of the Jebusites? Because that city was on a plateau, was the highest area, highest mountain in that area. And the way that David and his men overcame the city of the Jebusites, they climbed up the waterways. The enemy never knew that they were going to use the waterways to climb up the waterways. They were watching the walls. But David and his men crawled up the waterways. You can read it in the Bible and that's how they overcame the Jebusites. I want to let you know tonight, church, it's going to cost us. Maybe we'll have to get our hands dirty. Maybe we will have to, as a soldier, have your sleeve torn off. Maybe you won't be looking a pretty boy like we normally see pictures of soldiers standing there in their best wear, dressed nicely. But brother and sister, when you're going to go and pull down the strongholds of hell, I'm telling you, you're going to come through scarred. You're going to show bloody wounds. But I want to let you know tonight the joy of knowing that you have overcome that enemy. That has been bothering you all your life. Amen. Brother, that's the greatest joy of knowing. Amen. That no longer does sin have dominion over me. No longer am I a slave to the past. No longer am I a slave to the things that used to entangle me. I have pulled down. Amen. Nevertheless. Nevertheless, doesn't matter what my eyes see, no matter what the headlines say, I am an overcomer. I am a conqueror. Brother, I will let you know tonight, it's not going to be, oh, I've made it. No, we're going to come through this terrible time in which we are living, we are going to come through more than conquerors. Amen. May the Lord Jesus Christ help you tonight. Amen. So true, Brother Jaswell. God help us never not to look at circumstances. There's many circumstances that will discourage you. Many the circumstances that's going to destroy and distract you. But let us, by the grace of God, brother, look at the things that are unseen. Because the things that we are seeing is temporal. 
of the things that we don't see. Eternal. May God help us to live in that realm a victorious and overcoming life. And maybe tonight we are making decisions. Maybe tonight by the ministry of the word you have in your heart says, nevertheless, doesn't matter what I'm facing, I'm going to go forth and pull down those strongholds of the Jebusites, of the Amorites, of the Hittites. Rather, I'm pulling it down and I'm living victorious. Let us not wait until the weekend. Let us right now in our hearts decide this is it. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. May God help us tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, Brother Peter Brown, can you get yourself ready, my precious brother, to pray for us tonight? And if there's any need, wherever you might be, any need, wherever you are, you can slip up your hand. Slip up your hand and say, God, will you help me at this time? Will you grant me grace? I know tonight that as I've made up my mind, your prophet has said, when you make up your mind to march on with God, he says, watch out. The enemy is not going to allow you. He's going to bring things in your way. So when you deny, decide, Lord, this is it. I am deciding tonight. I'm not going to allow the enemy anymore to play with my mind. I am bringing every thought into captivity. Remember, the enemy is going to come after you. But we are overcomers. Nevertheless, nevertheless, Lord, we are overcoming. So just where you are tonight, every head bowed, every eye closed. Brother Peter, remember the sick. Remember those ministers. Remember your family, our friends. Let us pray for one another tonight. We can all join in as Brother Peter will be praying for us right now. Brother Peter Brown. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Tonight, of God, there's power in your word, Father. Yes. Amen. Lord, this world is a powerless world, of God, and, but we serve a powerful God. Yes. Lord, we can stand like David tonight, of God. We can stand like Shem God's food, of God. And Lord, there's many ones in the Bible, of God. I believe, believe you're raising up a church, of God. Amen. Lord, she's already raised up, of God, Father. Yes. Lord, tonight, of God, we have the authority, we have the power. Lord, it's in your church, in your bride, Lord. Father, tonight there's many hands that's gone up, oh Lord, even my own, oh God, Father. Lord, we are always needy people, oh God, Father. Yes. Lord, I pray for every hand, every hand that's raised, oh God. Even the unseen tonight, oh God, Father, Lord, that's, that's maybe out there, oh God, that's sick, Lord, the needy, Father, God. And yes. Lord, millions now in sin and shame are dying. Lord, but tonight we pray for everyone, oh God, and every need tonight, oh God. May you supply every need, Father. Yes. Lord, if there's someone else that's that backslidden, may you restore the backslidden one, oh God. Yes. Father, Lord, if there's anyone who needs the Holy Ghost, may you fill him with the Holy Ghost. Amen, Lord. Lord, this is a serious hour, a serious time, oh God, Father. Lord, help us to become more desperate, oh God, Father. Yes. Lord, Father, may you, oh God, and just take full control of our lives, oh God. Yes. Every time of our being, oh God, Father, we want to die to ourselves tonight, oh God, and our own ways and everything, Lord. May the Holy Ghost have preeminence in our lives, oh God. Yes. Lord, we pray for our different ones in the families, oh God, whether this is his brothers, his cousins, his sisters. It's different ones of God, Father, Lord. Even my own family tonight, the God. Yes. Lord, my wife's family, Lord, the believers' family, Lord. Yes. Different ones of God. How we need you tonight, the God. We pray for them in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, may you do something for somebody tonight, the God. Yes. Father, the time is getting short, Lord. Yes. Father, people are dying on every hand, oh God, Father. Yes. Lord, we don't know what to do. We don't know where to go. You alone have the word of eternal life, oh God. But we thank you tonight, oh God, for your word, Lord. That we are more than overcomers, Lord. Yes. We are more than conquerors, oh God. Lord, we possess the gate of the enemy, Father Lord. It doesn't matter how we look or, God, or how we defeat it, we look at God. Tonight, oh God, like we heard, Father Lord, there's something in this people, oh God. There's something in this bride. There's something in this church. There's something in, in, in God's people tonight. 
is the power that's moving. It's unshakable. It's unmovable, oh God, Father. Amen. Lord and Father, may we pray our part this evening, oh God, oh, even over the weekend, oh God. Lord, may we, we, we take our stand, our post of duty, Father, Lord. Yeah. Even if we are housewife, doesn't matter who we are, Lord. We can stand together in unity in prayer tonight, oh God, Father. Lord, may you touch every heart, Lord. Every hand of God, Father, your prophecy, Lord, is the anointing of God, is the presence of God that raises our faith tonight, O God. May we come into your presence, O God. May your presence come down in our midst, O God, that we can raise up in our faith tonight, O God, and look to the unseen, O God, because the unseen is more than the seen, O God. We thank you tonight, O God, for the power in us, O God, the power in, the, in us, O God. Lord, every strong can be broken, O God. Everyone can go free tonight, Lord. Everyone can be liberated tonight, O God. Father, we are the children of the living God. We are the sons of God, Father, Lord. That this world is waiting for, Lord. We are the sons of God, Father. And we're speaking of the sons of your word tonight, O God. We cancel every work of Satan, Lord, for this weekend, Lord. We cancel every wrong thought, Lord. Every evil thought, Lord. Satan, your work is exposed tonight. We, we're stamping on this work. We are stamping upon this work tonight, O God. Father, because, Lord, we have a power tonight, O God. We are the church victorious, O God, Father. Lord, they cannot... Lord, if it's not now, then when, Lord? If not, who, O oh God, Father? Lord, we know who we are tonight, O oh God. Yeah. And may you pull every fiber of our being, Father, Lord. Yes, Father. If, we, if anybody is coming, Lord, and, they, oh, and they're still yes. struggling with something, Lord, may they leave victorious over this weekend, O oh God. If anybody is still battling with something, Lord, yes. like we have the test, say, Lord, may the chains be broken this evening, O oh God. Yes. Father, because, Lord, we are the church, O oh God. And we're not going to go with you, people, because you promised us in the word of God that we can possess the gate of the end, Lord. And we are more than overcome to you, Father. I pray for every believer tonight, Lord, for the thanks for his family, for the past and his family, for everyone of God that was on the Zoom meeting, Father God. May you touch every heart, Lord, yes. even the ones that we don't see, Lord, Father. May yes. you work in an individual's heart, oh God, because Lord, this is becoming an individual matter, oh God, Father. Yes. We in my house, we must serve the Lord. Father, this is in the vision of fear of God, Father. Yes. We have to serve you, O God, Father. O Lord, Father, where could we go to that with you, O God? You are the only one that has the words of eternal life, Father. May you bless every believer, Lord, whatever country, whatever place, Lord. Father, because, Lord, take away all doubt or fear. Everything is all right. May you take it away, Father. Yes. May we stand as a David tonight, O God. May we stand against every every power, every influence, Lord, because there's, there's something in us, O God, that's taking control of God. And that's you, O Lord, Father. Like we heard tonight, God, you're not on the outside, you're on the inside. And the Bible says, they just see this in us and he in the world. Oh. You bless every heart tonight. Bless every believer. Lord, even those that is maybe not believing, Lord, but when you touch every heart tonight, Lord, also see Jesus mighty name, Lord. Oh. And say, thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 God bless you, Brother Peter. God bless you, Brother Taswell. And each and every one that was with us tonight. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. My sisters from uh, Brisbane, uh, God bless you tonight. Even Amen. God bless you. We'll see you over the weekend. Amen. And also, Brother Errol and Sister Viv, God bless you. And every believer, the Lord bless you richly. Appreciate giving us your time tonight, Brother Errol and Sister Viv. This, I'm in your mornings. May the Lord bless you. And please don't forget our meetings over the weekend. Amen. The Lord bless you richly as every believer tonight. May God richly bless you. Amen. I, I, I got a notice here about the, the prayer. The sister, the, the young people, the time of, of prayer. Fast. Just fasting and prayer. Chain prayer. Chain prayer. Starting Amen. Starting, starting tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow night. Yeah. The prayer meeting. Start, and also... On uh, our prayer meeting for the South, for the South, will be at Brother Peter Brown's home on Thursday night. Remember, those that would like to join us will join us on Thursday night at the home of Brother Peter Brown. That's Thursday, not Friday. It will be now on the Thursday night. Every alternate Thursday night, we will be gathering South. Uh, for our pre-meeting and on Wednesday night for the West. Amen. Hallelujah. What's that? Oh my. Amen. Also, young adult Bible study on Friday night. Also. Amen. And I have put my name down also to join the prayer, chain prayer starting tomorrow night so we are trusting god for 
some tremendous things and pray that God will just bless you and thank you for being with us tonight. So continue praying for the weekend meetings. We, we are under great expectation that God is going to move in a very, very special way. So may them take the name of Jesus with you and God bless you. Thank you, Brother Taz, once again Amen. for veiling yourself Amen. tonight Amen. to minister Amen. the Word of God. Amen. Nevertheless, Amen. nevertheless, Amen. hallelujah, hallelujah. Can we say Henderson must just stay online, Dad? Henderson, if you can just stay online. Support. Henderson, if you can just stay online after we've shut down, we would like you to stay online. Amen. Amen. So the Lord bless you, Rishi. Take the name of Jesus Christ with you. Amen. 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 Just a song. Can they sing a song? Or not?